Okay, so um, I have about 500 miles of break-in on my new ring and pinion that I had installed. Um, so I'm about to change the oil, clean up the uh, gasket, and I'm going to replace that with a lube locker. Um, so we'll see how it goes, and hopefully the oil uh, looks good, and I'm sure there's going to be some uh, uh, little bits of metal from the ring gears being uh, meshed together. Okay, we're going to drain the fluid. that train. Alright, I'm going to remove the bolts now so I can remove the cover. Now that it's pretty much drained. We're going to do a quick uh, inspection on the gears, make sure that they're <coughs> wearing okay. And uh, let me just take a quick look here. It's, pro it's a little over 500 miles on these gears now. And it seems to be looking okay. barely see the pinion gear but taking a look at the ring gear of what I can't see and um, seems to be okay all right, I just want to inspect the oil a little bit so we can uh, see the condition of, of how the oil is um, uh, treating the, the break-in period you can see in the sunlight a lot of metal flakes, little flecks and grindings off of the ring and pinion that we want to get rid of. That's why we change out the oil after 500 miles of uh, breaking. It's like I'm panning for gold. I'm going to use some brake fluid, some brake clean, to try to wash off some of this old oil that has some uh, metal contaminants in it try to clean it as much as I can. Now the problem with this Curry 60 is the angle of it. A lot of the oil still sits at the bottom and there's no drain plug to get it out so I gotta use paper towels to try to get as much of that oil out of here um, as much as I can. So it's one disadvantage of this differential housing. It's great for clearance, it's great for protection, but not so great for 
draining oil out of it. Let the brake clean dry out. I'm gonna scrape some of this old uh, RTV gasket off. Prep it for the uh, lube locker, uh, which doesn't require any silicone, which is why I got it, and it's it's reusable. Okay, I think that's as clean as I'm going to get it. Um, so I'm going to start reassembling the differential, um, the, lube, the lube locker on there, and uh, just start putting the bolts back on and uh, wrap it up. Locker cleaned off the surfaces as, as well as I could, torqued down the, uh, the diff bolts to 30 foot pounds and a uh, cross, uh, a cross uh, bolt pattern so that you have even pressure all the way around. Um, so now I'm about to uh, refill, refill it with uh, gear oil and uh, I'll show you the gear oil that I'm so using. So I picked up this uh, Valvoline uh, 75W90 in this uh, soft pouch which is great because then you could squeeze it because you got to get on when you know strange angles to get this into the diff uh, the diff hole and it's uh, nice to be able to squeeze it more easily than the plastic bottle so I really I really like this product um, so yeah Valvoline 75 w90.